Hey friends, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living. Welcome back to the shed. And I know what you guys are all thinking. You're probably thinking another new animal. And I, believe me, I feel you. It's been a lot. But if you guys caught my goals video, you knew this one was coming. And what I am referring to is these guys that I have here in front of me. And what these are, are our bourbon red heritage breed turkeys. And like I mentioned in my goals video for this year, we would really like to be able to grow our own turkey. And I would love to grow this year's Thanksgiving turkey. And while we went with a heritage breed, the Bourbon Reds, we chose them because they are supposed to be a very docile breed. Um, the Toms are supposed to be fairly docile as far as a Tom goes. Um, and we, we should be actually able to harvest one of these for our Thanksgiving meal. I wasn't really sure if a heritage breed would be able to grow out fast enough for this year's Thanksgiving, but supposedly these will be big enough to harvest. Um, so what we did is we found a local breeder and we got six. And now with turkeys, you can't really tell the difference between males and females, although we think we have two males in here because they're bigger and they posture with each other a lot. Um, so I think what we have is two toms and then four hens. And these things, all turkeys, are very sensitive. And a lot of people have a hard time raising turkeys especially as young poults. Uh, they're very fragile. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in. Um, so the breeder that we got them from wanted to keep them for two, the first two weeks to get them through the really sensitive uh, time frame. But while I was picking them up, she also mentioned that they aren't like fully stable or hardy until they're three months old, which I was not prepared for that long. Um, I knew that it was hard to raise the babies and that they were very fragile, but I was shocked to hear three months until you're really secure with your turkeys. Um, and then I had to drive about a half an hour from my house to get these guys and she told us to bring a heat source. And I was like, what kind of a heat source are we going to be able to bring? Can I bring in our truck to, for these guys? Like, it just didn't, it didn't seem necessary to me. And our options weren't abundant. Um, and so I was like, I'll just turn on my seat heater and put them on the seat and then that ambient heat should be enough. I had my truck set to 70 degrees. I had the seat heater on and one of our birds, by the time I got home, a 30 minute ride in a 70 degree truck with the seat heater on was so lethargic. We weren't really sure that she was going to pull through. And I was like, wow, these guys really are fragile. So we were planning on putting them directly in with our chicks. We had them in here, and that one turkey would just, it wasn't bouncing back. We had a, a, the warming plate in here. We had the heat lamp in on here, right on that chick, and it took almost all day to get it to, like, liven up. And so we decided now is not the time. We were having a week of bad weather with the lows in the 40s. And we were like, it's not worth it to risk 
losing all of our turkeys. So we decided to bring them into our house, which I was not happy about. When I got these guys out of my bathroom and into this shed, I was very happy and I cleaned my whole bathroom and I just felt so much better not having them in my house. And then here I am again, having birds in my bathroom. Um, but it was better than having them all not make it. It wasn't worth the gamble. So we brought them inside and they have been living in our bathroom for the past week. So now they're three weeks old and our lows are now supposed to be like in the 60s overnight. And we are going to, we still got the heat plate in here. We brought the heat lamp in here for these guys, uh, just in case they need additional warmth. I love when they stick their heads up out of the, out of the grate. It's really funny. Um, and now we are more confident that they will be able to stay out here with these chicks. I don't know how they're gonna, everyone's going to react getting new birds in here. It's gonna be interesting. But they're about the same age, or the same size. Um, so that should be good. Um, also, what observations that I've noticed having these in my house is that they, I thought that these birds were a lot more flighty. But like, I can reach down in here, I can pet them, I can touch them, I can. You know, they're not as skittish as I thought they were going to be. They're actually very calm with us. They're very docile. Um, the breeder said that they were really jumpy. And when I move this, they do want to jump out. But I think that's just because they want to come play or something. They're not, like, afraid of me. Like, these guys, when I put my hand in, they, they scurry away. These guys just... They lay there, they're calm, they're cool. I've been, I've actually enjoyed having them. The one Tom is right here. And I'll show him to you guys. He's just much bigger than everybody else. But I wanted to show you guys our new birds. Come here, sweetie. So this, I believe, is our Tom. And he's a pretty big bird already. But it's very easy to get these guys. And we'll see how this goes. lay there. <laughs> like, okay, you gonna grab me? Sure. No problem. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure everyone's going to be a little shaken up here at first. Ooh, stay down. Well, the one turkey's in with the rest of the birds. so flighty I think I'm going to probably put this back up
just to make sure that nobody flies out. So yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's there's three turkeys standing right there in with the other chickens, and they seem totally fine. There's three turkeys in there, and then there's three turkeys over here. I think it'll take some a little getting used to, but I don't think there's going to be much of an issue. They seem more freaked out about me. The chickens seem more freaked out about me than they do the turkeys. <laughs> so I am definitely going to be coming in here and watching to make sure that none of the turkeys look lethargic. But, I mean, you can see... Ooh, where is it? Yeah. You can see these turkeys right here. They're just standing in amongst them. No one's fighting or doing anything. And also, this is the most space that these poor turkeys have been given. So they're probably going to be flapping and flying a lot in here because they haven't had space to do that yet. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.